Hello people on the internet, it's me again. Today I'm going to show you how I planned my bullet journal spreads for December. December is obviously a very theme heavy month with winter, New Year's Eve and Christmas all going on in the same month. Initially I wanted to do an icy pale blue theme that could still be considered neutral and minimalistic, but my November spreads have been so super minimalistic and monochrome that I just wanted to go all out again this month. After Abby from Abby Studies on Instagram kept sharing Christmas love on her stories and posts and in our chat, I was just infected with Christmas influenza as well and when I started seeing Christmas decorations in stores and around the city, there was just nothing holding me back anymore and I am officially hyped for Christmas. My overall theme was modern Christmas, but you can later see that it's just, you know, everything green, red, Christmas related in the end. So good job to me for keeping the theme going consistently. Insert sarcasm. The calendar layout for December is the same size as my August calendar, which is a 21 squares by 14 squares calendar in the Leuchtturm 1917A5 dot gridded bullet journal. Someone pointed out that they had a difficult time recreating some of my spreads because I never mentioned the sizes of the elements, so I decided to include them all in the video and I will try to mention them verbally again as well. Thank you so much for letting me know where I can improve my videos and these kind of comments really really help me, so thank you again and insert no sarcasm. I kind of liked my overview of study topics I had to cover last month, so I'm including that again this month, but I'm changing the columns into two Christmas wreaths with stars and dots and tiny circles as decoration, because you can never go wrong with those, in my opinion at least. For the little text element on this page, I wanted to go for an inky feeling so I decided to use watercolor because on the Leuchtturm 1917 paper it's rather ghost proof as long as you don't use too much color and layers. If I had used actual ink to do the lettering, I think the ghosting would have been enormous. So watercolor was, you know, just my way to achieve the same effect or a similar effect with less ghosting. While that was drying, I added some red stripes to the December title to give it a candy cane look because that's pretty much the only thing I was certain about, you know, that my December header should look like a candy cane and everything else was pretty much brain freestyle. So yeah, that was very important to me, that December would look like a candy cane. While I'm doing some self-explanatory stuff on screen, I just wanted to point out that because I was using some older fineliners with flattened tips, I'm covering up a lot of the screen while I'm writing. This is something that I definitely want to improve next year. Oh, crazy. Next year is just around the corner. But yeah, anyways, that's the reason a lot of the footage is fast forwarded even faster than usual. Because you can only see my hand, you know, all the time. After I added the headers for the other elements, I decided to add some habit trackers again this month, because why not? And I wanted to make them look like presents, so I'm adding some details with a new washi tape set that I just purchased for this video. To fill up the space on the bottom, I added some vintage style washi tape and some Christmas themed washi tape from the set I just mentioned. Now you can see what I meant with modern Christmas, because instead of just adding traditional Christmas ornaments, I decided to go for holo ones, cause 
we're all holosexuals after all. At least I am now, thanks to Christine from Simply Nail Logical. Love that channel. I kind of regret adding the colors to the calendar because I think it looks a little messy afterwards and just too much. But hey, things like that happen and now I have to learn to deal with that. It sounds super serious, but it's actually just color on paper if you think about it. For the next page, I decided to add another blocking element with scrapbook paper. Initially, I cut out a house patterned paper, but I didn't like it after I had glued it in, so I went with a soft pastel vintagey paper with kits and a snowman. The quote I chose was initially meant to be for the other paper, which made a lot more sense, you know, because houses represent the town and Santa Claus is coming to town. But now it makes less sense with the snowman as the backdrop, but oh well, it's still Christmas themed overall. And this is what I meant with slowly just adapting a general Christmas theme this month. Since I wanted to keep the spirit of Christmas alive, I drew a gift list with some Christmas lights hanging in the corner. And because Christmas is all about love and family and warmth and coziness and presents, I don't know why I just said that very weirdly, but I wanted to include a little gratitude section to fill the space up on the bottom. That's also because I've been realizing, realizing, sorry, I've been realizing more frequently than usual just how lucky I am to have been born into my family and to be able to live the life I am currently living and how grateful I should be. So I wanted to keep reminding myself to stay humble and grateful and that was just very serious, at least for me that was very serious. So what happened? Did I just show feelings? <gasps> Moving on. Oh, before I forget, the font is inspired by Sarah from Lucky Letters on Instagram. She was actually the reason why I decided to start a bullet journal to begin with, but I'm sure we'll cover that someday too. You know, my origin story. And it's finally time for my weekly spread. The layout is very simple with 6 17 squares by 8 squares columns on top and 2 on the far right side for the weekend. Because I had so much space left, I decided to add a meal log again and of course my overview cannot be missed in a weekly spread of mine. And uh, then I just doodled a little bit. I mean, the decoration process is quite self-explanatory, so I don't really feel like explaining everything because that would be just so boring. <laughs> but um, basically, I wanted to go for a lighter Christmas colored theme this week using a lot more... Uh, not, not saturated. Muted. Yeah, muted colors and rusty colors as well. And I'm covering a piece of lettering up with craft paper because I did not like it. So you can see me just experimenting again, which is a lot of fun, but it takes a lot of time. So yeah, not for everyone, but I love it. So I'm just coloring in the weird abstract, maybe Christmas tree. And that was also a lot of fun. And yeah, <laughs> it's so self-explanatory. I'm using watercolor again because this set has some rusty earthy tones that suited the washi tape I used and the Christmas tree. So while the watercolor was drying, I colored the Christmas light bulbs on the other page with old 
glitter glue. It was very old and it was very hard to get the glue out of the tubes, but I really like the effect it gives because the light bulbs are rather tiny. It doesn't look too cheesy and over the top, at least in my opinion. And you know, basically we're done now with this setup. Of course, I'm going to show you what the finished product of hard, young adult sweat looks like. And I kind of really am okay with it. I'm not loving it, but I also really feel the Christmas vibes going on and obviously the holo. And I hope that you guys really, not really, but at least enjoyed it a little bit. I kind of want to add some color to my meal log, but I'm just not sure, so please leave a comment telling me your opinion. And thank you so much for watching up until now, and to express my gratitude, I have a secret giveaway for you guys. I want to give away the Christmas washi tape set that I used in this video. I mean, I know it's used, but you guys saw how much I used of it, so that's... That's still okay in my opinion. And I decided to add two more new sticker sheets to the giveaway. All you have to do is go to my Instagram, which is procrastinate underscore create. It's also linked in the description box and find the picture that is shown right now. Then you need to comment with, let's say, um, oh, Christmas tree or Santa Claus is coming to town or all is calm all is bright you know the quotes i used in this video and that's it and every other information is in the description box down below i mean it's a given that you have to be following me on instagram and be subscribed because we just hit 20,000 subscribers and it's crazy and i forgot to even mention it actually on my instagram anyways thank you so much for your support and i'll see you soon bye bye